So uh, welcome to uh, Casino Square. Casino Square at uh, Monte Carlo, Monaco. I'm staying at the uh, the Fairmont Hotel, which is uh, just down the way here. Which I'll walk you to and uh, give you a tour of uh, the place. It's the Hotel de Paris where I stayed uh, last time I was in Monaco, about three years ago, four years ago. It's got the gardens, uh, the hills of the uh, French Riviera. It's fancy shops there. About a two minute walk to the Fairmont. It's the Hotel de Paris. And the uh, famous casino. No, many a James Bond film. So, yeah. yeah, my fourth visit to Monaco. Set at the Metropole, which is just beyond there. Fairmont once in year 2014. Hotel de Paris. And uh, Fairmont again. It's a very nice place. So, yeah, the casino here. Alrighty, ready? So walk you down. It's a bit of construction going on en route, uh, but uh, inside is the casino. Some nice shops here, Versace and so on. It's historical uh, designs on the roof. Yeah, Fairmont's a uh, three minute walk. Yeah, and it's the quickest way. You can take the street, street down, uh, but this is a nicer walk past the casino. You can see uh, the hills of uh, French Riviera in the distance. Mirabeau on the Formula One circuit. Straight ahead, top of the hill is uh, the Maybourne Riviera, where I stayed the last uh, a few days ago. Reviews there. Some shops here: Chaumet, Hublot, uh, Richard Mill, Salon, Jo Privé, Versace, and so on. Little garden and then uh, went to Buddha Bar and the hotel. So if you come to Monaco uh, for shopping, uh, Fairmont's good, good place to stay. So you get sea views, a lot of the rooms. Uh, so walk down from the casino square. Gardens here. Get past these people. It's a Versace store. Versace store here. And then Fairmont is just here. There's a fair bit of construction going on around Monaco. I didn't know that right, but uh, fourth visit here. I said, like the place, uh, to come so many times. My second stay at the Fairmont. Yeah, so casino is just up there. the Buddha bar. Just walking past here last night so it looks a decent bar, decent music, decent crowd. Uh, yeah, Buddha bar. It's there. It's right at the end of the, uh, the casino complex. And then our hotel's uh, just here. So I'm walking to down these stairs. Get a couple of drinks in the bar. Just mind the stairs. But, uh, hotel's just here. It's the hotel. Walk you down. Yeah, so the Hotel Metropole is uh, just over there. They've got a shopping arcade. You go to. Yep, it's the Fairmont. There's some great locations in the world. I stayed at the Fairmont uh, Lake Louise in Canada. That one's a pretty amazing location. So is this one on the hairpin to the Formula One circuit. Let's get you down one flight of stairs. The Cactus Garden here. And then we walk up onto the roof, roof of the hotel. There's the Cactus Garden and the main entrance of the hotel. So it's buses uh, at this time of the year. It's supposed to Formula One cars during uh, Formula One season. Yeah, that's the uh, the road down. The Mirabeau. The hairpin. Most hairpin in the world. Most famous hairpin in the world. You can see the sea. Cote d'Azur. 
be honest. You can see the Mayborn Riviera on the hilltop where I stayed as well. Yeah, it's the Fairmont. Rooms at the front are being refurbished. We've got a sea view suite. Alrighty, so we'll uh, come back. Uh, take you up through this uh, cactus garden onto the roof of the hotel. And you'll see my, my room uh, balcony and uh, walking around on the roof of the hotel and then we're going. This is the other side of the casino. So we've got rooms here as well. Hotel rooms. It's the Hotel F of Vermont. There's a garden up here on the roof that's named after Princess. Uh, that's part of the hotel. It's named after Princess uh, Grace Kelly, American actress that married uh, Miss Prince Rainier, yeah, the, the father of the current Prince Albert, I think. Read up on my French history. Ready? So the, uh, the roof for the hotel is just here on the left. And uh, the back side of the casino, as it were, opposite the square where the fountain is. Yeah, uh, it's the casino. And then this is the, the hotel's, uh, some of the garden rooms they've got here. I show this at night as well, it's quite nice at night. I the Buddha bar earlier. I got sunrise it's happening out there. Nice gardens. South of France, so it's fairly tropical with the cactus and the lake. This is uh, Princess Grace. I'll walk you to the Prince's Palace. So this is the walk at the top of the uh, top of the hotel, this path. Hotel sort of a series of octagons in shape. See what it says, Fairmont Monte Carlo. Yeah, and they've got like footprints of, I think famous people that have stayed here, I'm guessing, right? Uh, the first two are Pele, he's a football player, Pele, Brazilian guy. And then uh, next one is Diego Maradona, the hand of God. That football sold for millions recently, and I've got Diego Maradona. And you have to get a Frenchman in there. There's Michel Platini somewhere here. Michel Platini. Yeah. Alrighty, got him. Nice walk at sunrise. So the Prince's Palace is just up there. I'll walk you to there. You can see the casino. Just over there. Okay, all the rooms. Well, hotel rooms. It's quite a large hotel. I think it's quite an old hotel. They're refurbishing the new rooms at the front. As mentioned. Yeah, palm trees in the south of France, eh? Not bad. We're actually lucky with the weather. It's uh, late October. It's Diwali week, 2022. Same week uh, Rishi Sunak became uh, British Prime Minister. Uh, and the weather, you know, the sun's out. It's nice. It's good to see the sun out. Yeah, you come in the afternoons. I'm doing this in the morning here yeah, because we're staying in the hotel. Obviously, uh, I do this in the afternoons. Packed with people taking photos and selfies and stuff. Alrighty, so this is the view this way. So our room is the uh, top floor on the left there. The CV is sweet. We've got two rooms back to back. Case room, see view suite just on the left there. I think Fairmont are Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. Well, they've changed ownership, and uh, I don't know. Who's got spare cash these days? 
Alrighty, let's walk across here. And we'll see the Prince's Palace. That's Monte Carlo uh, Marina, all the fancy yachts apart where they have the Formula One parties. Where they have the parties during uh, Formula One. Yeah, as you can see the uh, Hotel de Paris. And uh, see now there. Okay, let's just walk around for a couple of minutes <coughs> and you'll see unobstructed views of uh, the castle and uh, start finish that area, the Formula One circuit, La Rascas, and all of that stuff. <coughs> Yeah, so we passed my room. My room is way back there. My suite. So we're on the roof of the hotel here. Yeah, so this is a video about the Fairmont Hotel. Fairmont Hotel Monte Carlo, and we're walking on the roof. So I'm not giving you a random walk around all of Monaco, but uh, on the roof of the hotel where I'm staying. Fairmont Monte Carlo. It's the Hotel de Paris. There. Let's pause here and let this guy walk past. That's the entrance to the marina there. You see boats coming and going. It's a red light that flashes at night, which I saw from my balcony, which you'll see. Yeah. I walked past. I think the story was 1860s like that. They allowed uh, casino gambling here. They built railways here as well. Railways, trains and casinos, yeah. Everybody from Paris uh, came here to gamble. The economy flourished. And the rest is history, as they say. Something like that. I think two minutes. We should be around. Uh, yeah, there's some people walking here, so I'll just look at the trees for a second. Sorry. Trees, the sun, and the seagulls are a bad combination. Okay, got a hand here. It's the hand of God, Diego Maradona. They won the World Cup, Argentina, that year. 1986, yeah? They did, yeah? If I remember correctly. Okay, we're nearly there. Just want to show you the Princess Palace. We're going there later for changing of the guards. I saw doing this video early. pretty much a full walk around the roof okay because we're back at the casino square here to the Hotel de Paris is. stop here and uh, that's the Princess Palace straight ahead Monte Carlo Marina for the Fairmont Alrighty, that's the roof. So I'll take you through the lobby. Take you through the lobby and uh, take you to my room. Alright, see you in a tick. So uh, welcome to my floor at the uh, Fairmont Monte Carlo. Got a uh, sea view suite. Sea view suite up here at uh, top floor. 
the corridor and uh, it's room uh, 682, 682. You can use this door or the, uh, the next door, 6080, to go in. The door close. Alrighty, welcome to my uh, Seaview Suite, our Seaview Suite. We walk around, it's the bedroom here. Just got in, just got in. Uh, uh, I did stay in this hotel about eight years ago, but this time it's a suite. Last time was a hairpin view uh, room. You get a balcony, you get two balconies. They basically converted uh, two single rooms into a double room. You get a balcony, uh, stand guard to the uh, Monte Carlo Marina there. That hill beyond is, uh, is where the King's Princess Palace is. Yep. So you're looking down the uh, Riviera coastline. Sea view. Just got in, so uh, the video in early while well, the room gets uh, flipped in. Yeah, CV suite. Yeah, so converted two single rooms into a double room. Take you into the uh, living room, just next door. And uh, this is the living room. Scrolling through various images of the hotel on TV. You get some complimentary uh, chocolates and stuff when you get in. Handwritten letter from the general manager, as always. Easy chocolates. And uh, I think the complimentary wine is a cutting of champagne. Just like that. I'll let you know what year it is uh, when we check out. Yep, got a tattinger there. Yeah, you get two balconies. Similar sort of deal, furnishings and the like. The rooftop gardens take you on later. Monte Carlo Marina is a nice yacht park there. Nice yacht park too, as well. A lot of construction work going on. bit noisy, especially around the casino area. There's always construction work going on there. Yeah, little table here. Yeah, that's the suite. Quick walk around. There's paintings of Monaco around the place. Yeah, I feel the bathroom. It's the bathroom here. All set up. Sports fans, greetings, boys and girls. Welcome to the uh, Fairmont Monte Carlo. Welcome, and sports fans, boys and girls. All right, Mr. K's uh, Sea View Suite. Just a few pounds. So the last uh, couple of days of the holiday. Nice food, uh, Abu Dhabi, and here so far. Running in the Singapore Marathon in December, so I'll share them very quickly. All right. Yeah, bedroom, uh, living room, bedroom, there's photos of Monaco on the wall, yeah, and a place, yeah, so that's that's basically a photo of uh, where we are relative to uh, Monaco, it's the hotel all the way across the front here, got a nice swimming pool at the roof, uh, the famous Hotel de Paris is this one here, yeah. Casino is all across here. So we're uh, literally a three minute, five minute walk to the square there. Yep. Alright, so I'll show around the place, the swimming pool and the like. It's Red Boy, the other one's in the uh, in the cabinet. Cupboard. Try and pack. Alright. So we'll uh, see you later. See you through our three days, two nights staycation here in Fairmont.
early start to the day. Early start to the day, a lot to do in uh, Monaco today. Uh, breakfast at uh, Nobu restaurant. So the Japanese uh, Peruvian restaurant. So that's uh, breakfast. Same as uh, other places, but it's breakfast at the Fairmont Monte Carlo. So we've got some eggs, sausages, baked beans, potatoes, like that. Some, uh, Danish pastries, coffee, and orange juice. Yeah, early start the day before uh, sunrise because we've got things to do in Monaco, full day uh, shopping and uh, my visit easy medieval village. Uh, breakfast at Nobu. So we've got uh, daybreak here. Post breakfast, uh, daybreak, lovely uh, colors to the sky. An orange glow in the morning. The Nobu restaurant, Fairmont Monte Carlo. This is good. It's a lobby lounge in the foreground there. The uh, sunrise in the distance. Back in the uh, suite after breakfast. Uh, head up for a swim. So a uh, very good morning to you all. Uh, we've come to the uh, rooftop uh, swimming pool here at the Fairmont. Just going to uh, get my feet wet in the pool. It's the casino uh, just over there. It's all the uh, garden view rooms. Sunrise is uh, happening as you saw. And uh, we're going to get our feet wet in the pool. Which is uh, just through here. See the pool through there. All right, see in the pool. So uh, welcome to the uh, swimming pool at uh, Fairmont Monte Carlo. A sunrise happening uh, just beyond there. It's the poolside uh, restaurant. We've got the pool to ourselves. It opens at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's just a little lap. Uh, as you can see the, uh, see the Maybourne Riviera for a start where we stayed there. Initially we've got a construction site next door. But uh, they're making the place better for the future. Noise doesn't affect the rooms. Now we're getting the water. Casino's over here. Yep. Swim in the pool at sunrise. Casino. All the apartments, uh, Monaco and France. It's the Mirabeau area. You've got a hairpin Formula One circuit just here. It's the Formula One circuit's hairpin just there. Not right at the hotel. Buses and vans at this time. Let's go in the water. You can just see sunrise uh, through there. Let's get in the water. There's people coming. Yes, this is the pool. Wait here before people get here.
already in the pool. Okay. I'm in the pool at Fairmont. Ah, it's nice. The hills of the French Riviera around. And, uh, Cabanas. I think they're going to the other side. Confine ourselves to this side. But the pool with uh, Mr. K and the seagulls. The water suddenly gets deeper. So uh, we'll just. Uh, I think we'll cut the video here. There's other people just jumped in the water. It's the pool at uh, the Fairmont. All right, space park's over there. Just uh, come over from the Fairmont to watch uh, Changing of the Guard, the Prince's Palace. City of uh, Monte Carlo here. It's the Prince's Palace here. Changing of the Guard, Changing of the Guard happens uh, every day at uh, just before 12 o'clock. Get some uh, amazing views of uh, Monte Carlo and our hotel right there at the waterfront. It's the Fairmont just there. Beautiful sight. It's the uh, Fairmont Hotel, seen from uh, Hotel de Bury. Let's go over there for lunch. Just uh, stepped out onto the uh, Formula One circuit just outside the hotel. So that's the straight uh, after the, uh, the casino square. Cars come down and then take a right down towards our uh, hotel. Uh, it's buses at the moment. Towards our hotel, there's a famous hairpin just there. And they say uh, whoever gets to the hairpin first uh, during a Formula One and goes on to win the race. Yeah, so that's the Fairmont straight ahead. Where the bus is going around the hairpin now. And uh, there's the gardens. So it's on Metropole, just up there. And the hairpin's uh, just there, straight ahead. And there's a bus stop there as well. Just walk down the street, and then uh, after that, they will loop, take a right. That's the circuit, you see the street markings. They'll go under uh, under a tunnel. It's uh, just there. All right, so walk down to the tunnel and uh, show you the tunnel entrance. See the uh, French Riviera hillside uh, to the left. So we just uh, walked outside the uh, the front of the hotel where the uh, Formula One circuit runs. There's a, uh, there's a famous uh, hairpin here where the cars come down and uh, sharp left. Great views from the hotel, all those uh, rooms at the front. They say uh, whoever gets to the, uh, there's the Buddha bar up there, 
Whoever gets to this first on the first lap often goes on to win the race. So how uh, crucial this happen is. You can see the road markings. It's our Fairmont Hotel. Nobu were at breakfast. And so on. Yeah, some cactus gardens here. I'm not sure what the street is. Uh, that's where they come down, come down the hill. That's where the uh, the Mirabeau uh, apartment complex is. So come down the hill and then uh, swing around this, uh, this in front of the Fairmont. See the street markings? And they go down here and uh, these people's houses will have uh, good views as well. Bus stop here. We we'll go down here and uh, take a right under the tunnel. I think all these people are used to tourists. Yeah, take a right under the tunnel. So we'll uh, gate the tunnel. Fairmont. There's some renovation at the front. So they, uh, they even have a model Formula One car after the hairpin and. Uh, before the tunnel, I'm just walking down the tunnel here. Yep, and then this is the uh, the right hander uh, before the uh, the tunnel. Just here. That's our hotel above. Uh, my room is to the left. See view. You can see the tunnel where the cars are going in, and then the hotel name above. Uh, all this construction work going on. So we'll, uh, we'll skip the walk under the tunnel, but uh, that's the one. It's a tribute to Ayrton Senna at the uh, front of the Fairmont here, Monte Carlo. the lobby at the Fairmont just uh, walking down uh, towards my room at Nobu restaurant and the uh, lobby lounge just on the left here and then there are all the uh, the decorations uh, various shops that you have here selling yachts art uh, and the like yeah, there's a Nobu restaurant there and uh, see all the uh, Formula One yachts and uh, champagne here, and cars. So on. Various gift shops. gift shops fine art and uh, see the harbour just out there property agents Stefano Ricci it's the clothes shop it's the last uh, that's the boutiques in the uh, the lobby. There's yeah, the lobby lounge, just there. And, uh, the store opens. You can go outside. Go outside and uh, save the fresh air. There's a bit of construction going on, yeah. That aside, uh, it's very nice. That's the entrance to uh, Monte Carlo uh, Marina. My room's uh, just up there on the right. Top floor rooms. Yep. So the lobby is put together. I'll go in there. It's okay. Get some uh, nice boats uh, sailing into uh, Monte Carlo uh, Bay sometimes, like this one here. Catamaran speeding in. 
hydrofoil or something. So if I come to the roof of the uh, the Fairmont in the evening, uh, dusk is falling here over uh, Monte Carlo, roof of the hotel. It's the entrance to uh, Monte Carlo Bay and you can see the Prince's uh, Palace on the hilltop there. Let's go for a walk at the roof uh, in the evening. This is the uh, Hotel de Paris and the casino seen from this side. And uh, the Buddha Bar and the hills. Some construction work going on, they're building some apartments and stuff. Uh, you can actually see the Maybourne Riviera where I stayed. Uh, before just at the hilltop. We'll see that in a second. Our room is uh, it's just here. It's our room there. Nice to see you. Just walk you uh, to the park. It's the Mirabeau, it's on the Formula One circuit. It's the Mirabeau, it's yeah, next to the uh, hairpin on the circuit. Yeah, see a lot of construction work going on here. Yeah. It's a bit like Singapore, I think. Always uh, reinventing themselves. Yeah, see some of the uh, rooms in the hotel? Just there, the garden view rooms. Yeah, and the hills, the hills around the place. So Maybourne Riviera, just there, that's where I was. A couple of days. Yep, very nice. It's kind of breaking the trees and uh, see the scenery. Yeah, there you are. Okay, then you'll see the uh, continuation of the Buddha Bar. The casino. Alrighty, back to my room. We're at the Fairmont. Princess Grace. Let's worry about the Fairmont. of the uh, Fairmont Hotel at night, casino, in the uh, Hotel de Paris, it's been there. It's the gardens on the roof, Hotel de Paris, and the hills, hills of Monaco. Walk okay, over here, you can see the Prince's Palace.
So the ships on the marina. Princess Palace, top of the hill. It's a cruise ship uh, pulling out of uh, Monte Carlo Marina. It's been parked there all day while I've been here. Yesterday to Europa. Bon voyage. Uh, the Fairmont Hotel. So just uh, walked out of the hotel for a walk in the morning. It's the uh, the Princess Grace uh, Japanese Garden. It uh, opens at uh, nine o'clock in the morning. Nice place to come after breakfast at the Fairmont. Jardin Japanese in French. There's all the construction site. You can see the Maybourne Riviera on the hilltop. There's a superb location, that hotel. And uh, there's the garden here. All the apartments. Sort of bridges. It's a very small garden, like most things in Monaco. You can see our hotel in the distance, entrance to the tunnel. Yep. It's the uh, Move on Riviera in the distance. I say that because I stayed there. Uh, they see ducks. Yep, ducks in the Japanese garden. Yep, that's the Fairmont. It's down there. Jardin Japonais. Just 
just uh, come down for a post breakfast uh, walk from the Fairmont. Mayor Jars is uh, straight ahead, it's an Indian restaurant uh, here in uh, Monte Carlo. Mayor Jars and uh, got Monaco as uh, the beach here, at sunrise. At sunrise, uh, saw sort of breakfast. And there's the beach. Five minute walk from the hotel. Uh, you can see the uh, the Cornish rooms at the Maybourne Riviera on the top of the hill. So we stayed. And, uh, it's the beach, the kiddies play area, and the beach at Monaco. Actually, the Fairmont's uh, signature photo has the beach and the deck chairs. So uh, we may have a private beach, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, beach in Monte Carlo. The hotel's a five minute walk. It's next to the uh, the construction site. It's a hotel. Uh, we saw the Indian restaurant on the way. Foot of the Fairmont is good, not great. Good. All right, beach at Monaco. So we're uh, packed and uh, ready to leave the uh, Fairmont. Lovely uh, sea view suite. Lovely uh, sea view suite here. It's the Red Boys. A new addition for the shopping. Blisteringly hot day outside as a sailing boat uh, heading out. Yeah. Place. Alrighty, time to fly back to uh, Singapore on Emirates this afternoon. Lovely day in the making. We're in Monaco at uh, Seaview Suite at the Fairmont. What a lovely sea view. Mediterranean. <laughs> Lucky with the weather this holiday, late October. All right, so on our travels, uh, somewhere for Christmas, 2022, I think. All right, enjoyed. Sports fans, greetings. Fairmont, Monte Carlo. <laughs>